Hey everybody, Max Kevin here. It's Little Cutie Podcast. It's not too long. Oh, how you guys doing? What is today? What day is today? It's Thursday. It's Thursday, dude. Only, only, it's the 12th. It's 12-12. Only 13 more days till Christmas. Did you do any of your Christmas shopping? I haven't done mine. Oh god, what What should I buy my family? You guys have any gift ideas? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I never know what to get people. I'm I'm really bad at buying presents, you know. I don't know what to. People have too much shit already. You know, you don't need more crap. It's like, what can we really, what can we really buy people? Okay, can I just give you my, can I just give you my love and affection? Okay, I think I think I'm just gonna make my mom a coupon. I'll just make a little coupon. It'll, it'll say on it, "Good for one free hug." You know, shit like that. I remember when I was a little kid, we give her things like that. Good for one free hug. Good for, good for one washing the dishes without complaining. Yeah, <laughs> that was the gift. That was the gift I gave to my mom when I was a little kid. You know. Oh, anyway, uh, let's see. Let's see. I went down to the uh, American Comedy Company on Tuesday. Finally, I got up. That was good. It's a lucky duck. Got picked. Uh, it was kind of like the last, the last quarter there, so. So, um, half the audience was gone, but it was all right. It was still, it was still good. I got to do my set. I did, uh, I basically did the second set I've ever written. So, um, I don't know if I told this story or not, but, uh, the very first time I did comedy, there was like only like my buddy was in the audience and like, there was like two other people and, uh, well, my buddy was laughing, but the other guys weren't, you know, so it wasn't, it was tough to tell, you know, and the second time I went, it was, there was a big crowd and, uh, I fucking killed it. My very my second time. All of my jokes got a big laugh, except for like one of them. And uh, well, basically, uh, every I don't think I've ever killed as much as that second time. I've never had a set as good as my second time performing ever, you know. And I, I performed those same jokes again, but and they, and they never they never got as big as a laugh as that as that first time, you know. Anyway, so this is my uh, this is my first time performing that set in America. To an audience, so I was really curious, like if it was just a fluke or if, if there actually are some laughs there. And uh, yeah, yeah, I got a, I got a few laughs. You know, it was good. I uh, got to see like where where the laughs actually are and which which spots are missing. Uh, you know, it's good. It was good for it was good for me. It's good for me to improve. God, I was just I was just fucking thinking. I was talking with my roommate about the whole comedy scene and stuff and like we we're talking like Bill Burr right so Bill Burr's fucking huge right now you know but he didn't really get huge until I don't know I would say like 2012 2013 around that time he got really fucking huge you know but he was on the Chappelle show 10 years before that right he was already a professional comedian on TV 10 years before he became a like a household name you know it's like during that 10 years he was just he was just a professional comedian but he was still relatively unknown, you know? And that's just like, that's the, that's the, I mean, the idea of making it, I mean, I guess, I guess prof- being a professional is good enough. That's good enough for me, man. You know, I don't have, I don't, I don't even really want to be famous, to be honest, you know? Like being rich and famous, I just want to be rich. I don't want to be famous. Yeah, that's how you get me too, dude. If you're too, if you're famous, all the, all the, all the chicks you banged will, will meet to you, you know? But if you're just rich, you know, no one knows who you are, you know, so they can't, uh, you know, no one can uh, uh, sue you for money or whatever. Or I guess they can, but, you know. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, comedy, the more, you know, the, the more you think about comedy and, like, the future of it, the more it depresses you. <laughs> So you can't ever think about it. You just got to keep going out there and keep doing stand-up, you know? Because you love it. That's why we do it, because we love it. It's pretty good, you know? It is is a great feeling to make people laugh. Oh, let's see. I also published my my second comic. My second comic there. uh, Not as as popular as the first comic there. This one was was a little political nature, you know? Uh, fucking, as soon as I posted on, on, I posted on Reddit, and some fucking, some fucking crazy person 
I posted it in three different sections, right? Like comics, web comics, and political humor, you know, because it was like political joke. Some fucking crazy person commented on the exact same comment on all three. Because it, uh, it was kind of making fun of the media. Well, I mean, you can see it if you go to my instant grips. Uh, you know, it's making fun of uh, how the political parties kind of, well, they basically do anything to push their agendas. And, uh, well, the first frame, the first frame of it is that Greta chick, you know, that, uh, that Swedish girl, the, how dare you, how dare you, you know, gotta feel more on her later, but, uh, she's the first panel to, fr- to frame the, you know, she's the, she's the, the premise, right? So this, this one crazy fucking person comments like, don't make fun of Greta, she's working hard, she's a hero for all the, but you know, and I and I replied back. I'm like, uh, the joke's not about Greta, actually. It's about it's about the news and the media. He's like, <laughs> in uh, you know, true to form, true to form. The person didn't uh, didn't actually read my response or just kind of responded to my response how they wanted to interpret it. You know, it's like it's like people have suck so bad at reading at reading comprehension. It's like they didn't even they didn't even read what I wrote and just kind of continued complaining. You know, so. Oh, that was weird, you know, that was kind of, that was kind of, you know, why there's so many fucking crazy people out there, oh god, oh god, yeah, um, yeah, anyway, fucking Greta, Greta person of the year, I don't, I don't know about, I don't know about that, I don't know about that, I don't know, the thing, like, with that girl is, like, I'm sure there's a lot of teenage climate activists, right, I'm sure there's a lot, but they, they chose her, they chose to prop her up, you know, they chose to make her famous, the uh, the political machine there chose her to make her famous, which is really, it's really cruel to her, you know, because that's going to, I mean, now she's opened all this ridicule and stuff, you know, and um, that's not, that's not good for a kid, you know, even, I mean, even though she's 16, right, even if she was 18, that's not good for a young person, you know, look what happened to Justin Bieber, I mean, he just started tattooing his whole body, you know, that's what happens when these fucking kids get in the spot, you can't, you know, it's not good to do that. I mean, look at fucking Macaulay Culkin, right? It's a good thing he's still alive, you know? He's not dead like fucking River Phoenix, you know what I mean? But, you know, part of the part of the thing about this chick, Greta, is, is she's autistic. And I'm pretty sure because she's autistic, that's the only reason why, like, she, she'll be immune to, like, all the bad stuff that will happen to her, you know? Because, like, she won't even, she won't even care, you know? I don't know. I don't. I don't really know anything about her. But oh boy, oh boy. I just. Uh, you know. Anyway, check out my comic if you want. It's. Uh, I think it's pretty funny. It's on the instant grips. Um. Yeah, I guess that's it. I guess that's it for today. Oh, I saw the movie Ad Astra, dude. Fucking Ad Astra, dude. It. It Ad Astra is Latin for. To, to the Astra, dude. Ad Astra, dude. Uh, you know, that's the one with Brad Pitt in space. Dude, it's fucking Brad Pitt in space. He's an astronaut. Yeah, it was, uh, was alright movie. I, uh, if, you, if you're planning to watch that, I recommend uh, you know, taking an edible before. You know, and wait for that edible to kick in there. Because it's, kind of like it's kind of just like a long, slow music video, basically. With, like, shots of space. And I don't know, the... Uh, the commercials there, the trailer kind of made it seem like there would be like a, I don't know, maybe aliens or something. Like, dude, fucking aliens, dude. Or, you know, there's going to be like some big mystery. There wasn't really any mystery. Spoiler alert. It's just kind of like a big daddy. Like, I miss my daddy. Daddy never loved me and I never had any good role models, you know. Uh, I don't know. It was, it was alright. I mean, there was, there was obviously some ga- glaring flaws there. Like, uh, Brad Pitt just like. At one point, he's, like, uh, flying through Neptune's rings. And, like, he uses this, like, big piece of metal to protect himself. And it's like, uh, I don't, that's not gonna protect you, dude. If the fucking, the fucking rings hit you, they're going, like, a million miles an hour. You'll just, just fucking explode. You know? You can't... <laughs> probably should have cut that sh- that scene from the movie there, you know? But, uh... Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's pretty easy to criticize if, if you look for all the mistakes, the stuff that doesn't make any sense, but... I think I've turned over a new leaf in my life. You know, I can't just watch stuff and look for all the mistakes. You know, you can't. You can't enjoy anything. 
You can't enjoy anything if all you're looking for is the problems, you know? Just like that person that looked at my comic. They couldn't even see the joke because they were too busy thinking that I was making fun of Greta. Greta Thurnberger, or whatever her name is. And I wasn't even doing that. I was making fun of the goddamn Democratic and Republican parties. But the fucking idiot, you know, couldn't even see that because they're, they're blinded. You're blinded by your hatred. Don't be blinded by your hate. Don't be... Don't be... Uh, uh, anyway. Anywho, I think that's it for today. Thanks for listening. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow.